Hey everybody, this is Roy Rogers from The Files Production. Uh, Merry Christmas! What all did you guys get for Christmas? Leave in the comments below. And this is my uh, free program tutorial for movies and everything that you can have to help out with that. So let's get started. Uh, hold on a minute. Checking. Hold on. Yeah, okay. So the first program that we're going to be looking at is Windows Movie Maker. And uh, it's just a very basic program for cutting and editing movies. Uh, if you're on, this is on a PC. If you're on a Mac, it should be iMovie. Um, hold on, I'm going to see if I can pull up a video to show you. Um, hold on just a second. Make expand the screen and play. And it's not showing you anything. Uh, I don't know why, but it's just a very basic program for editing movies. So I'm going to X out of that. Hold on. This is very glitchy uh, for some reason. Uh, next program is Caltex. It's a free script writing program um, and you can just google it and you should find a link download it all of the stuff that you can just google uh, if you don't already have it on your computer so uh, just helps you write scripts that's all uh, this next thing is GIMP stands for GNU image manipulation program and uh, what it does it's basically like Photoshop in for uh free it's basically like a free photoshop for people who have no money so i'm just going to show you i'm going to draw something and i'm going to blur it and that didn't do anything so i'm going to blur it again gaussian blur and bring that up a lot Ta -da. and it hides a lot of stuff so if you go through the tutorials you should find everything uh that you need I'm just going to X out of that because we don't need it anymore. Uh, next is Sculptress. And this is basically like Photoshop, but in 3D. Or I should say it's basically like GIMP in 3D. It just lets you sculpt uh, whatever you would like to sculpt. And it's very fun to play around with. Very easy. Uh, here I'm crafting some sort of uh... monster head thing that i don't know what it is and you can download brushes for it i haven't found any uh... downloads but if i do i will edit this video and put it in the link below but uh... don't well you you sh you can look but i doubt it will be there uh... next is blender two point five and uh... what blender is it's a free three d uh, modeling and rendering program so you can sculpt stuff and edit stuff uh, here you see me showing you edit mode um, and what that is is you can edit specific vertices of the shape and give it different attributes you see like just like that and what you can even do is go multi no here, multi-resolution. Uh, hold on, why isn't this working? Oh, I'm still in edit mode. Okay, so you have to go to object mode and click the subdivide button. And uh, if you go into edit mode, you won't see a bunch of uh, new faces. But if you go in object mode and go into, hold on, where is it? Oh, th there it is wireframe you'll see all those new faces that were added uh... for some reason my computer is glitching very sorry um, and you you can then go into sculpt mode and this is also like kinda like sculptress where you can just drag and pull and stuff and yeah i like using sculptress better personally it's just a personal thing though uh... hold on okay 
what's next? Okay. Next is a program called Lightworks, and I have no idea how to use this program. Uh, so if anybody below knows this program, could you please tell me how to use it? Because I'd like to know, but um, I don't really use it. Uh, I just wanted to include it in this uh, thing in case you guys don't have it. And it's also for basic editing, but you can layer and color correct. It's like a little bit of a more advanced... Um, uh, it's a little bit of a more advanced uh, Windows Movie Maker or iMovie. And, uh, that's basically it. Um, next is Voodoo Camera Tracker. And, uh, what that does is it's a 3D camera tracker. And you know how, if any of you have seen any of the new Transformer movies, uh, the big budget films use, uh, 3D camera trackers to find a bunch of points in their scene and put them into a 3D program so everything moves nice inside of the scene. Um, it's basically like a really, really advanced, complicated, time-consuming uh, motion tracking. And uh, I did not mean to open that. So I'm going to exit that. And my last thing is uh, the whatever the debut video capture software sorry I had a brain fart and uh, it's free uh, there's a not free version but I'm using the free version just google it guys uh, oh, the mic's been around and uh, my last thing well not my last thing but uh, this should already be installed is the voice recorder and paint hold on if it opens yeah paint just normal paint and uh, also you get paint.net. I don't have it, but I know people who have it and they seem to like it. For word processing, I use Word, but I don't do that very often. So as you can see, that's not a word, but uh, this is. Hold on if you can see that. Hold on, I'll make it bigger. Yeah, like. Like is a word, but what I just typed before it is not. No, I don't want to save that. And, uh, all, m like, Word, Paint, and Voice Recorder should already be installed onto your uh, computer, so should uh, Windows Movie Maker. But if it isn't, then, uh, y you should probably be able to Google it and find it. And I'm not really sure why I'm opening all of this stuff up. Uh,. But I am. Uh, Alright, uh, the programs, these are not free programs, but they're cheap programs. I just thought I'd include them. Is Adobe Premiere Elements down at the bottom that I was just pointing at, and HitFilm Ultimate. Uh, Adobe Premiere Elements is like a cheaper, um, what's it called? Uh, God, I suck at this. A cheaper. Final Cut and then HitFilm is like a cheap, uh, whatever, is a cheap, uh, After Effects. So, that's it. I will see you guys later.